Okay, the most logical place to start when talking about camera support is the humble tripod. A tripod system actually consists of the tripod head and the legs, often referred to on set as sticks. Heads can be purchased independent of the sticks and can be mounted to dollies and supports other than tripod legs, as we'll see later. Consumer grade tripods are extremely affordable and assuming they can support the weight of your camera are suitable for lockdown shots. However, if you want to pan or tilt your camera during a shot, you're going to need a professional fluid head. The term originally referred to hydraulic oil inside the head used to create smooth motion, but it's now used liberally to apply to any high quality head capable of fluid motion. If you use a cheaper head, you'll typically find even the most subtle camera movement begins with a small jerk as the head breaks free of the friction of its inertia. Now that's fine if you're moving the camera to a new position ready for another lockdown shot, but not so good if you intend to show the move on screen. Having said that, in recent years, manufacturers like Manfrotto and Benro have created lines of fluid head tripods at highly affordable price points. Other types of heads exist, including geared heads for smooth, repeatable movements and motorized remote heads. Once you've positioned a tripod at the appropriate height, the next step is to level it. Most tripods include a bubble level for this. Professional tripods include a knob underneath the head to smoothly reposition it. Some also include a light for the bubble level to make it easier to adjust in low light. Typically, there are two adjustments on the tripod head for pan and another two for tilt. One controls the tension of the rotating mechanism to create the desired speed of motion, and the other is a hard lock to prevent any more movement on a given axis. A counterbalance control needs to be adjusted according to the camera's weight to make sure the motion is smooth and the camera returns gracefully to its rest position. In addition to standard head configurations, an underslung head can be used to mount the camera below the pivot point. We'll look more at these when we discuss stabilizers. Now tripods aren't the only sticks used for shooting. Monopods are also a useful option, especially when working with lighter weight cameras. Since monopods provide a firm vertical stabilization, the slight movement produced by the operator attempting to hold the camera steady actually adds a more handheld feel in contrast to strict lockdown tripod shots. When you need a camera as low to the ground as possible, the solution is typically a hi-hat mounted on a flat board. Hi-hats allow the hemispherical ball of a typical camera head to mount into the hat, locking the camera in place. Hi-hats are also used to hold the camera in place on a support cart while it's being rigged. It can then be unscrewed from the hi-hat and quickly mounted to a dolly or crane. A variation on the hi-hat is the low hat, used when even lower mounting positions are needed. One other alternative when shooting low angles is to simply rest the camera on sandbags and shape them under the camera until the desired framing is obtained. Now, before we move away from tripods and tripod heads, it's important to mention the concept of nodal tripods. Nodal tripods, which for full range of motion require an underslung head, are designed to pivot around the optical center of the lens. When this occurs, there's no parallax shift in any part of the scene. This is essential when working with hung miniatures and forced perspective. Interestingly, modern digital visual effects usually fare better when there is parallax in a shot, since parallax is required to track and solve a 3D representation of the live-action scene. 